to Security 101. And this week we're going to kind of follow along where we left off last week with safety and shopping and things like that, and also answer another question that we've had recently via email. And the question that came to was, how safe is Google Wallet? And Google Wallet, from I do use Google Wallet as much as I can. If I go to a gas station that supports Google Wallet, I'll take my phone and I will we'll touch my phone to the machine to pay for it. Uh, and the, the main reason I do it is I don't trust card readers anymore. And as much as uh, you've seen uh, this show in our episode uh, back a, a little while ago about skimmers and card skimmers at our gas stations, gas stations are becoming very popular place to skim cards. If you take your phone and you touch it, there's no way for them to skim your card. So I do like the concept of Google Wallet. So, but the question came is, is it safe? And let me explain a little bit how Google Wallet works the way that I understand that it works. So when I go somewhere and I touch my phone to a device that can read my phone for Google Wallet, they are given a credit card number that does not belong to me, it belongs to Google. Google then will take that charge, charge it back to me on the credit card that they have for me. So my charge actually comes from Google. So if there is somebody there that can read this by any way, they're actually going to get the card that belongs to Google. And it's a MasterCard. And it's one of the MasterCard uh, ones that had like the chip in the, the Wi-Fi chip or the NFC chip in it. So that basically this emulates. So my card is never transferred over NFC. So Google relies on the fact that they know that I did a transaction to, to charge me for that transaction. So from that point of view, I think that's safe. The other thing that they have is they have the ability to get a card from Google Wallet, a regular credit card, and that has also the same number that is that you're going to get when you tap this on. So the question is, is it safe? Well, from that point of view, I think it's safer. However, there's somebody in the middle doing the transaction, Google Wallet, and what is your information safe there? That I cannot say for sure. I would have to guess, based on that it's Google, and they're probably regulated, that it's, everything's encrypted in, the, in that process. But there's never a guarantee of that. Your information is out there somewhere. But for me personally, I think it's safer than going to gas stations using a phone than what it is to use your own credit card these days. So that's just my thought. I had the question. I don't really know the true answer of how safe it is in the Google environment. Uh, I can only tell you what Google says. And from that point of view, I think it's probably safe. Uh, and if you have it, it's a nice, uh, convenient feature. And with the way credit card skimmers are going, I think this would be the better option. And in the event that you want to target and you're using their systems and you use this, your credit card would never have gotten stolen. It would be the Google credit card number and then Google could just close that card out and change it. It wouldn't be on you to have to worry about that. It wouldn't be your, your credit card information. Just, just a thought. That's all I want to talk about this week, though, on uh, Security 101, based on an email that I received. But thank you. Keep the emails coming. All right, everybody. We'll see you next week. For show notes for this show, contacts, and more, go to the techzen.tv website where you can get show notes for all of our shows. We love to hear from our viewers and listeners. We have an email, a Twitter, and a phone number where you can contact us for each show. For details, visit the techzen.tv website and get the show details. You can also make a video and upload it somewhere like YouTube or Vimeo and then just send us a link. You never know, you may see your video in a future show. You can get all of our shows delivered automatically to your favorite device by going to your favorite podcast website like iTunes and subscribing. Each of our shows also has a YouTube channel you can subscribe to to get regular updates. Our shows are also available on most internet radio networks like Stitcher and TuneIn Radio. You can also watch and listen to our shows on Xbox, TiVo, and Roku. You can even find us on your Zoom.